This is the world's smallest fully functional camera. I can't believe that for less than $20, I can get an actual working camera that's literally like the size of my fingernail. And today we're going to be testing it out on a trip to the world's largest mini museum. There's a TikTok that a bunch of you keep tagging me in. When you take your wife who is obsessed with tiny things to a museum of miniatures. I love the giant door at the mini museum. This is literally gonna be me. I'm gonna be so excited. Immediately, I knew that I had to go as soon as I saw this. Good news, my water bottles made it through security. <laughs> Welcome to the mini museum. As you know, I love minis and I have actually been working on a mini functional house of my own. It's not going very well. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a creative slump. And I'm hoping this trip to the mini museum can fix that. We will even have a mini haul from their mini gift shop, so stick around. Right at the front gate, we've got our first mini. Oh my gosh, it's one of those free libraries. <laughs> That's so cute. Wait, <gasps> there's no books. A mini disappointment, but let's head to the museum. Look at this entrance. I don't know what I was expecting, but not this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna attempt my first selfie with the mini camera in front of the entrance. This thing is supposed to be ultra wide angle, so let's see. How does it look? <laughs> literally the opposite of a wide angle. Apparently it has a very mini battery as well. I literally think it's dead already. It's just flashing red. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> I think I got one picture. Which side do I open? That's not real, okay. <laughs> It's an illusion. So we bought our tickets for $14 each. What's your favorite thing in the whole museum? The Adams Family Mansion <gasps> and the Enchanted Realm, which you'll see when you go to there. Cute. And right in the lobby is the first mini mansion. This is the most detailed little thing. Oh my goodness. I like that room. I want that to be my room. And it's starting to show me I really have my work cut out for me. If I even want to come close to these professional mini houses. <laughs> it's time to leave the lobby and head into the actual museum. We decided to start in the suite to the left where they keep their special pop-up exhibitions. Right now there are spooky abandoned miniatures by artist Nicholas Levasseur. Not actually abandoned minis, they were just like made to look abandoned. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Oh my gosh, I love it. Despite my uh, sparkly pink outward appearance, I actually love all things spooky and abandoned. Spooky asylum mini. So I was so excited about this. It gets creepier the further into the room that you go. Okay, are you ready for the spookiest one? <laughs> it's a tiny murder scene. Ah! That looks like a real room. Let me know in the comments if you recognize which movie this scene is from. And this one is a recreation from the video game Silent Hill 4. Next, we are heading into the historical section of the museum where there are some really old minis and not just like minis that were made to look old. Some of these are actually from the 1700s. This whole museum is actually called the Mini Time Machine Museum because these little replicas transport you into other times. Like this one is so 90s with this like floating fireplace and the cheetah. Oh, this one has stained glass in it. Mini stained glass. Talk about a real working mini house. People get really creative with what they make some of this stuff from. This says the gentleman doll has a head made out of bisque. Isn't bisque a soup? Good soup. These dolls are made out of grains of wheat. I think their heads are and then somebody made them tiny dresses. How do you even make dresses that tiny? These little dolls are made out of bread dough. I'm gonna go home and start making dolls out of all my food. The mini of all minis. It's in a freaking walnut. <laughs> oh, look at the tiny antique shop. Thrifted treasures and minis. It's like all my dreams come true. Okay, I found the first mini clothing store. Are you ready? <laughs> It's actually a multi-level department store. We've got toy clothing, what looks like a bakery and a diner, and jewelry and antiques at the bottom. Look at the tiny jewelry cabinet. Now we have reached the wall of pencil graphite carvings. We already saw the little person in the TikTok, but there are a few more. Okay, we've got a bird in a cage. You can barely even see the bird. There's also this extremely detailed horse. Um, Tyler's getting hungry, so we're taking a little lunch break. I packed you a lunch. A mini sandwich oh my and some Doritos and you know a little treat too. <laughs> I don't think Tyler thinks that this joke is as funny as I do. Next, we are headed to the contemporary section. I believe these are all modern artists, but they're all themed in like past decades and from different places around the world. That one's cute. 
It's a Paris themed one. Oh, I love this one. Look at the sparkly gowns. Look at the French poodles. Okay, now we've got some Italian stuff. I think this is my favorite one yet. It's a tiny palace. That's it, I'm scrapping my whole like modern house and we're going straight chateau. Oh wow, they even hand painted the ceiling. The chandeliers I think are my favorite part. And the melted wax candles, hand painted and placed every single one of those books. Well, this one has a peekaboo basement. Peekaboo basement. This one's as big as me, look at this. Look how big this is. There were also some that were themed after like really specific hobbies. This is a tiny weaving studio. This is so specific, but it's so cool. Look at all the tiny yarns. A little pottery studio. Okay, Elida, this is the coolest thing in this place. It's a tiny bookstore. This is incredible. They did not skip a single detail in this thing. A tiny doll shop. How many of these dolls do you think are haunted by mini ghosts? Oh, these two for sure. They are up to no good. There are also a bunch of minis that reference popular movies. Okay, this was one of my favorite books when I was in elementary school. Let me know if any of you ever read this book. The Doll People. Okay, are you ready for the main attraction? <laughs> this is like the fantasy room, I think it's called. It's actually called the Enchanted Realm, Hope. And now we're heading into the Christmas minis. In the middle of the room is this giant tree and in it are these little mouse miniature scenes. I brought along a couple of my own minis that you might recognize and I hid them around the museum. So if you come to this museum, you can try to find them. They're hidden really well though. <laughs> Speaking of trees. This is an Ewok tree fort. Look at the little guy at the top. He's about to take off. Now we're headed into the fantasy themed section. We've got lots of castles and mythical themed displays. David Bowie and Labyrinth in a different dimension. <laughs> This whole house is witches themed. It's so cute. They have their own little witches store. I wanna buy him. He needs to come home with me. Cooking witches, partying witches. And I think you know what's coming up next. Guys, we made it to the Adams family house. Do you think that Jenna Ortega, I mean Wednesday is inside? <laughs> this might be my favorite display in the entire museum. Oh my gosh, there she is. Jenna. <laughs> And Ara Bentley, that created this little Adams Family house, is actually a YouTuber. She posts the entire process of making this place over on her channel if you want to check it out. I am obsessed. Pause this shot here and see if you can find Thing in the house. The gift shop is located back in the lobby, and it's basically a bunch of cabinets full of minis that you can actually buy. And I got a bunch of them. <laughs> Does my house need a mini piano? We have a haul <laughs> of mini things that I bought at the gift shop. I'm so excited to show you what I got for mini things. Honestly, one of the hardest things about making a mini house is the scales. I don't know if this is gonna be too big for my house or not. I think it might be perfect, actually. It's this cute little egg chair. It's like so 2000s, I love it. It matches me perfectly. Will you like it too? Oh my gosh, the seat cushion even comes off. It's precious. Next. Okay, these are really cute. So this one is a little itty bitty snake plant. Look at all the detail in those leaves. Okay, and I also got two of these little tiny planters that go in like a window. <laughs> I feel like my house has some sort of like railing or something that these would look cute on. Also so cute and detailed. <laughs> the last mini thing that I got, I think this is what I'm the most excited about. Ah, it's a tiny violin. <gasps> Okay, first of all, look at this case though. Velvet lined with gold hardware. And this was only like $15, I can't believe it. That's my mini haul. After this trip, I feel inspired, but also like kind of confused. Cause should I theme my mini house now? Like I could make it 2000s themed or I could make it spooky. But I also learned a lot. Like I don't need to rush the process of this house if I wanna spend a lot of time making it really, really cool and detailed. But like this Adams Family house took 10 years to make. So let me know in the comments what you think I should theme my house to be. Make sure to go binge watch all of my other mini videos if you haven't yet. Enjoy the next video. <laughs>